Hi, data scientists. My name is Jessica, and today we're going to be looking at this question here. The simulation of spinning two wheels, each with all the numbers from 1 through 14, is stored in a data frame called DF under the columns wheel 1 and wheel 2. So using, using these simulation results um, from DF, we want to estimate the probability that we get at least one value less than 6 and the second value greater than 9. So our data frame is going to look something like this. We're going to have two columns, wheel 1 and wheel 2. And um, each row is going to be a simulation. So the first time um, we got 7 in wheel 1, 9 in wheel 2, then 14, 13, etc. So we want to find the probability that at least one value is less than 6 and the second value is greater than 9. Okay, so when we, want to, when we have a data frame and we want to find a probability, the way we want to do is we want to find the number of rows where our conditional, and our conditional in this case would be um, at least one value less than six and second value greater than nine. We want to find the number of rows where that is true, and we want to divide that by the total number of rows in our data frame. So first, we want to create a conditional and store that in a new data frame called DF success, um, where this conditional is true. And then um, we can find the length of that and divide it by the length of our original data frame. So first, let's write our conditional. So we want at least one value less than six and the second value is greater than nine. So let's break it down. Let's first do the first part, at least one value less than six. If we need at least one value less than six, then that means either wheel one can be less than six or wheel two can be less than six. So we would write something like this. We would say DF success is when wheel one is less than six or wheel two is less than six. And then the second part is that we want the second value, so wheel two, to be greater than nine. So we would do and DF wheel two is greater than nine. Okay, but if we take a closer look at this, we want wheel two to be greater than nine but we're also saying that we want wheel two to be less than six. So because this is an and, we know that if this needs to be true, in order for the row to, in order for this entire conditional to be true, um, both sides of the and operation, so this entire side, and this entire side need to be true because if one of them is false then the entire thing will just evaluate to false so since we know that this needs to be true then this goes against this a number can never be less than six and greater than nine so what we can actually do is we can actually just get rid of that since we know that this wheel two needs to be greater than nine in order for this condition to evaluate as true it's never going to be less than six, right? That's just impossible. So we can actually rewrite DF success and simplify it to just, um, let's be bracket, DF of wheel one is less than six and DF of wheel two would be greater than nine. And this would be our conditional. Um, so once you have that, then all we need to do to find the probability is just divide the length of DF success by the length of our original data frame. And that'll give you our probability. So the code will look something like this. And yeah, hope that was helpful. Thank you.